反枪啊，这是。Tak bukan mungkin jadi, ini syarli ya, anda tanya tu, anda kisah aku kau cuma kisah kau cuma tu sih suwi. Friends, I'm extremely happy to have this opportunity to talk to you. Uh, uh, this is last day, and just after a few hours, uh, I'm leaving. So this is the uh, last sort of engagement. Uh, but that is a uh, public sort of talk. Uh, I'm very, very happy. I always consider uh, uh, it is very useful to meet public. That's the same human brother, sisters. There are differences, are superficial. People usually, I think, love to make more division, Eastern, Western, Eastern, Western, that, that, that kind of city. I think the uh, divisions at the within Eastern, Eastern, again, division, within Western, again, is a division. Uh, but I think you see too much divisions. I think too much sort of the what is it, the uh, emphasis on these differences. But I think the differences is uh, differences there, but that's the uh, secondary. What is important is we are same human being. Uh, the, uh, we are same on the level of mentally or emotionally. And physically, basically, it's a physical sort of constituency on these things also is the same, uh, except it's a little differences, uh, 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 the hair color, or is it the size of nose, a little difference here and there. Otherwise, we are uh, basically the same sort of, what say, same feature. Uh, so I think the more important, we all human beings, have same potential, a potential which can uh, uh, utilize positive way or negative way. Uh, so uh, they here, uh, just we are meeting or gathering, just the same uh, human human being or human human gathering. I feel the some problems which we are facing is essentially, I believe, human creation. Uh, so I think one of the factors, we too much emphasis on these, you see, minor differences, and uh, created the concept we and they, and big gap, big distance. And uh, worst case, we not only just, you see, no bother about the other, but even, you see, exploit on other, abuse on other, harm on other. Uh, ultimately, the same humanity, so destruction of your neighbor is destruction of yourself. Uh, some happen, some negative or uh, I said unhappy thing situation in far, in far sort of remote area, eventually, uh, impact will reach one's own place. Uh, so therefore, the, if we have a proper sort of uh, understanding or proper sort of, I say, I think attitude, uh, certainly I believe the many, many man-made problem can reduce. So the, uh, the feeling, oneness, or sameness, thus I feel uh, important and useful, and m uh, my own case, wherever I go, whenever I, I have the meeting with people, different people, uh, no, I always look from the, how should I say, hum, uh, angle of the human, just a human being. Uh, 
no need to uh, introduce as a human being. We know, uh, according to my own experience, I know it's in there, what kind of what kind of experiences in their mind, what kind of thought in their mind. Roughly speaking, we know each other. But some some cases, someone is showing uh, sort of less feeling, but the underneath, I think, same feeling, not much differences. Uh, so in any way, you see, uh, on that level, we can communicate each other easily. And, and also, I think the uh, human uh, good quality is concerned. As a, the, a positive potential, the good quality is concerned. Also, you see, we are same. Whether believer, non-believer, or Easterner, Westerner, rich or poor, this color, that color, the same. I think they all have the same. What say? Potential. Uh, potential to uh, such as human affection, sense of caring one another, sense of sharing one another. And that is, I feel, the uh, basis of our happiness and a successful life, happy life. Hatred, other hand, negative feeling one another, Suspicion one another, and on that on that basis, try to cheat one another. I think that is the basis of our misery, basis of our suffering, basis of our destruction of humanity. So, the uh, the action. or positive action or negative action, or right or wrong, or yes, right or wrong, or positive or negative, uh, it is difficult is it, to make a distinction on just a level on the action. Uh, basically, the motivation makes differences. Right kind of motivation or compassionate motivation, then every verbal action as well as physical action become positive, helpful. Positive in the sense uh, that action will bring, ultimately bring satisfaction or happiness or calm and feeling of safety. Uh, sense of security. Sense of security. <clears throat> the negative emotion uh, then with negative emotion, all the verbal action, physical action, become then negative. So now, now within that, what say, I think logic, or logic, I don't know, well, system. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what proper word, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe within that uh, parameter. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, you know, the concept of violence and non-violence. Now, within that, what's it? Uh, parameter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> the no demarcation, violence and non-violence, is very much related with motivation. Look, the, uh, out of some kind of motivation, want to cheat, want to uh, exploit, or want to, what say they, uh, use. Right. Take advantage. Uh, take advantage. Uh, you may use uh, a nice sort of verbal action, praise, and some uh, sort of, I think, the uh, nice word, uh, looks very friendly. Uh, nice word, and then also the physical action, some smile, but that actually their smile is artificial smile, not not a genuine good human smile, but you see through some kind of a smile, and then uh, some say you see 
gift, a present gift. Uh, but that looks, you see, that verbal action as well as the physical action looks, you see, non-violence, peaceful, but gentle. But because their aim, motivation, is one to cheat, to, cheat, uh, to take advantage, therefore, that action is essentially violence. On the other hand, the uh, sense of caring, out of the motivation, that a sense of caring, sense of concern, or compassionate motivation. Uh, and under circumstances, under certain circumstances, you see, using little harsh word. And even, you see, the little physical sort of uh, a harsh sort of method. Action. 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 Appears violence, but essentially non-violence. So therefore, the concept violence and non-violence, uh, I think, very much related with the motivation. So therefore, uh, we can, I think we can say, uh, non-violence is uh, some kind of action of compassion or manifestation right Manif nonviolence is the manifestation of uh, affection or compassion and also is the nonviolence does not mean we simply you see uh, uh, avoid violence or just to simply remain uh, indifferently or disengage from the issue or from the from the uh, problem. So nonviolence means you fully involve or, or fully address right, address or deal handling the problem, uh, but within the context of or say the compassionate attitude, compassionate mind. Now say you see someone or one individual, or within family, or some, someone's uh, uh, family level, or individual level, or group of uh, the community level, they uh, so the uh, community level, the oh, the point I, I forget. <laughs> 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 while while I'm trying to find some word, English word, so the meaning forget. <laughs> now, full stop about that now. <laughs> so, uh, so I think the, the main, what is the main sort of the point is the the, the in order to reduce the problem, whether on the family level or the, uh, the community level, uh, you fully engage with that problem. You realize that that problem is a problem we have to solve. But now here, um, uh, on the basis of clear sort of recognition, action and the person. As, as a person, yes, uh, uh, just like myself, want happiness, do not want suffering, and also just like myself, have the right uh, to overcome suffering, uh, to overcome problem. So, towards a person, compassionate mind, then the action, towards action, opposition, counter, right, right, countermeasure, oppose. Uh, uh, so this is someone you see creates some this problem, some kind of the or say the negative action or unjust action. Then see, at that moment, see, we, we have to make you see distinction. distinction, the person and the action. As far as action the person is concerned, uh, we sh must keep the I say the genuine sense of caring or compassion 
on the basis of recognize that also human being, just like myself. And then, as far as action is concerned, you see that action is something unjust. So therefore, you see, we have to, we have to deal accordingly. Opposition, oppose. Uh, so still, because not losing compassion towards the person, so the countermeasure is essentially nonviolence. Do you, do you, do you see some, some point? Mm -mm. OK. Uh, uh, so, uh, so now the uh, team, the nonviolence in the new mi millennium. New millennium. Uh, You see now, uh, in many places, you see people uh, very much, I would say, they looking forward to the new millennium. Uh, and also, uh, in, 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 in some area, even in some, you see, they making some, what what say, decorations. No, monuments. Monument, yes, some monuments also, you see, making. And people, you see, uh, make preparation for some kind of celebration or something like that. Uh, but, well, I feel if we really are concerned or looking forward, in some cases a little excitement, then the, uh, as we creating some a monument, external monument, I think it is equally important, even more important, some mon monument, internal monument, I think should make, should create. And in other words, uh, in order to have happier new century, 21st century. We are human being, essentially as a troublemaker, among the millions, among the different, I'd say, different species of mammal. I think we, in a way, uh, we are really troublemaker. Hmm. Sometimes I feel, uh, jokingly, you see, telling my you see, friends, or uh, telling friends, if we really want the small blue planet, genuine, peaceful, no more any ecology problem, then I think first uh, the humanity should eliminate. <laughs> <laughs> then the world truly be more safer. <laughs> but that is, of course, the uh, impossible and also I think useless and silly. Thinking that line also silly. The, because see, we human beings, we have this marvelous intelligence. And all because of the intelligence, or wisdom, or wisdom, right? Inter intelligence. Uh, the, uh, intelligence. We only human being can develop infinite altruism. The other animals, other mammals, impossible. Some limited altruism, usually they have, but the such a sort of marvelous infinite altruism that only human being can develop because of the human intelligence. So therefore, uh, I think the, it is far better humanity should continue on this planet. <laughs> uh, but now here, I think like religion. Yes, religion essentially, ah, there's great positive sort of a potential there to bring inner satisfaction, inner peace. But at the same time, religion also creates more divisions, more conflict. So now what we should do is, while keeping religious faith, they have to find ways and means to overcome these I said, the conflict or divisions on the basis of religions. So similarly, keeping humanity, uh, but the, this destructive part of humanity should reduce and should overcome. I think that is very possible. I think through education, not necessarily through religious belief, I feel. Through education, through, I think, the deeper awareness about the reality of life and about the reality of ultimate source of happiness and the successful. Uh, so therefore, uh, uh, I think it is important to make uh, two levels of spirituality 
or moral ethics. One spirituality uh, with religious faith. Uh, that, of course, you see, uh, every people. Uh, I mean, generally, you see, people, when talk about ethics, then you see they, uh, what is it, they, on, on, the, on the religious basis, you see, usually, you see, we are talking, uh, we have the concept of ethics, moral ethics. But I think uh, uh, we should have another level of, what's it, moral ethics. ethics or spirituality. That is, without religion, without religious faith, simply recognize the deeper human value, uh, you see, such as human affection, sense of caring. Uh, these are the, uh, if we think, properly. Then like, I think, external matters. In external matters, there are positive, some poisonous, some, you see, negative, which means uh, harmful to us. Certain, what to say, materials, matters, helpful, uh, uh, say useful for us. So, we usually do those uh, harmful element or harmful matters, we get it off. And those useful matters, we deliberately increasing and take care. Uh, there are many different kinds of emotions, uh, thoughts. Within there, some thoughts and emotions are very harmful. Uh, harmful means, uh, say, harm. Our, uh, our peace of mind directly, eventually, very harmful for the body. Body's health. And also very harmful for the happiness or friendship among the community. So therefore, uh, we can consider you see, that these kind of you see, emotions or thoughts are negative, harmful. Then another category of emotions and thoughts are positive, such as human affections. These bring immediately benefit to oneself, peace of mind, confidence, sense of security. Uh, uh, and then automatically it brings some kind of positive atmosphere. So then uh, after analyzation, Analyze. Analyze. Analysis. 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 Then, you see, those positive emotions have to increase. And we need certain care about these uh, positive emotions. And uh, uh, we, we uh, I said, uh, and through analyze, you see, uh, you, you need some kind of, you see, reluctance uh, to those negative emotions. Although these ne negative, whether negative or, uh, I mean, those negative emotions also part of our mind, but it makes differences, our attitude, as, it, uh, as a result of clear sort of awareness. These are useful, these are uh, harmful. So, so the, when the negative emotion about to come, you want to, uh, as much as possible, to distance. Uh, right. And not 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 accept easily, so some kind of uh, the reservation. So negative emotions, hatred. Oh, the ne negative emotion such as you see the hatred. The once we uh, have full knowledge or awareness, the destructive uh, dis destructive nature. Oh, uh, destructive nature. Then, uh, although it will come, but you see. Uh, we realize this is harmful, therefore, some kind of reluctant attitude. So that makes differences. So, so, so therefore, the, uh, I think through education, through uh, Buddhist call analytical meditation, uh, through that way, we can make, uh, sorry, we can, uh, sorry, we can present, we can present Explain. clearly to the people. Uh, yes, we need, irrespective of whether believer or non-believer, we are human beings. 
we want happiness. Uh, uh, we want to overcome suffering or problem, unnecessary problem. There's a, some, some, there's a, some problems, some use unwanted things such as old age and death finally. These are part of our life. The sooner or later we have to go, we have to accept these things. And also the, the nature disaster, drought, and it's a, uh, some areas, too much flood, too much water, some areas such as here, you see, uh, too little water. So these, uh, they, we can't do much. These are not man-made, but that is something different. The other, the uh, many problems, as I mentioned before, you see, certainly, you see, we can, uh, we can, we can reduce. So that is the, I, uh, I think the, so, so through, uh, through education, we can see the value of the, uh, some kind of secular ethics. Not through belief, but through reasoning. As I mentioned earlier, you see the peace of mind or this positive emotion uh, directly uh, bring happiness or uh, benefit to oneself means here. Now, when, you, when we have, when we experience some kind of sense of caring one another, and at least you see they look others as a human brother, sisters, immediately bring some kind of uh, satisfaction. Uh, satisfaction or tranquility. Sometimes, you see, people ask me, you see, uh, what is, uh, what's my, you see, uh, practice or secrets about quite, quite, uh, quite happy sort of. Uh, sense of humor. Uh, 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 I, I don't know. Sen uh, sense of humor. Happy nature or that kind of thing. And I have nothing secret. You see, simply, you see, try to, uh, I mean, uh, try to practice these uh, sort of practice as much as I can. So result, I get uh, some benefit. Uh, whether you see this bring benefit to other, that's uh, depend on others' attitude, isn't it? Uh, uh, so through that way, my health also, you see, when I was young, my health, quite poor health. But then getting older, more white hair here and there, uh, getting older, you see, health becoming uh, stronger, better. I think, it, I think the peace of mind, I think, make differences, I feel. Uh, the amount of my peace, peace my, my mental state, of course, I cannot say the uh, something very high level of peace of mind. No, 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 certainly not. Uh, still, negative emotions such as anger, uh, such as fear, is constantly happen, come. But then, like the wave of the ocean, wave come, but go. But underneath the ocean remain still. Right. Stable. Uh, stable. Still. I think something like that. The emo negative emotions come and go. Underneath the basic mental attitude, calm. usually, I think, remain quite calm. Some tragic sort of situation happen, or some tragic, very painful information or news will come. Uh, for a moment, short moment, some disturbance of my uh, mental uh, uh, calmness. The mental calmness. But then, uh, within a uh, few hours, go. Uh, most, uh, maximum, the, uh, after one uh, how say, good sleep, one night, the next morning, everything fresh, nothing. Nothing remained there. Uh, so, so this is, uh, I feel now, really, is it really, because of the benefit to oneself. Uh, so, uh, and I, I often, you see, uh, so the, um, mention the one is my experience, and one is a, uh, in America, uh, in, in New York, one hospital, uh, one, you see, one occasion, some kind of, what's it, a seminar. Uh, a seminar with scientists. And that particular case, mainly the medical science, medical scientists. 
so the so one medical scientist, the, uh, when he make his sort of presentation on his uh, research, work. research work, and he mentioned that those people who often, uh, who often use the word me, mine, I, uh, those people have greater risk of heart attack. <laughs> so after I, uh, I mean, hearing that, then I, I sort of, sort of more convinced, and also I've, I, I thought how it, it happened. Then I, I feel that my city sort of uh, analyzes the moment we think of oneself, the whole our or say, mind, mind, then you see focusing very small area, just oneself. Uh, so uh, uh, within that small uh, area, one's own problem appears uh, very big, unbearable. So lost, lose peace of mind, and agitations, and frustrations, and eventually depressions, these things, and anger. Something wrong within oneself. So the expression usually show anger at other people. Uh, a moment we think about uh, others, other means infinite. So your mind, or even if it's a community, think more about community, think more about family. Uh, then at least you know, your mind little whitened. Uh, result, one's own problem then uh, appears insignificant. Uh, insignificant. So I think that makes differences. And then also I think here, another I think the uh, uh, big differences, if we I think, ca carefully analyze the uh, some kind of uncomfortable feeling uh, as a result of one's own problem, one's own suffering or pain. Uh, at that moment, you see, unwanted, uh, sorry, well, unwanted sort of pain or the unwanted thing overwhelmed on our mind. So underneath, you, you get the feeling of desperate, helplessness. But the other, but they usually, uh, when we think about others who see suffering, at that moment, you may get some kind of uh, uncomfortable, more worry. But that worry, actually, in a way, you voluntarily take, not overwhelmed. Voluntarily, you see, take, voluntarily sort of, what's the day? Accept. Uh, accept. So, underneath, there is strength, there is courage. You see, to take, uh, to show concern, beyond my own border, uh, showing concern, much is larger, further. On underneath, there is strength. So that makes big differences. So therefore, the, uh, now I, the, the, the conclusion, I just some, afterwards, some, question and answer. Uh, so the, uh, through education, we can uh, increase or promote the value of human good qualities, such as sense of caring, uh, and also the sense of concern about other, and also sense of respect. I think here, compassion. Often, you see, people mixed the sense of pityness. Right. Uh, Larry, Pity. compassion by uh, pityness. Some look down. Mm. Genuine compassion is not like that. Not only is a sense of closeness feeling, but also the sense of respect, sense of concern. And then also, the usual uh, uh, sort of sense of love and compassion is uh, mainly towards one's own friend. That's actually attachment, not genuine compassion. 
So the uh, attachment or closeness feeling more closer, more closer, more attachment in nature is biased. And that, because you see too much attachment there, therefore uh, it also can, uh, be, can be basis of hatred. Because the, uh, the uh, attachment, I think the, uh, the I think nature of the attachment, although there is closeness feeling, uh, and some kind of what say they, you uh, sangutan uh, there. You tend to uh, look at the good side of something that you are biased to. Mm. But here, actually, the uh, I mean, the, in the object side, there are some good point, good aspect, but then your mind. Uh, mental projection and exaggerated that uh, good, sorry, point. Uh, good, good, good point or good aspect. So actually, that's some kind of admiration or the closeness feeling is very much based on false. False, right? False. Mm -hmm. uh, false. False. Uh, uh, so as soon as some small instant, the, it can turn transformed in hatred. But then, you see, genuine compassion is unbiased. Not, not based on, you see, this or that person, you see, something, uh, done something good for me. Therefore, I have closeness feeling. Not that way. But rather, that also human being. So, just like me, have the right to overcome suffering. So on that basis, develop some kind of sense of concern. That's the genuine compassion. So, so long, uh, other one, human being or sentient being. Yes, there is the basis of the development of the compassion. So it is uh, unbiased. Uh, unbiased. Uh, including your enemy. As far as action is concerned, you see, that enemy, you see, creates some problem or some pain to me. But the, another aspect, as a human being, the en your enemy, also is a human being, also have the right to overcome suffering. So, on that basis, uh, you, can you can keep the genuine compassion towards your enemy, while you are opposing the enemy's action. So, uh, uh, so the con conclusion, conclusion, the through education, we can transform our mental attitude towards oneself, towards family member, and then can expand towards uh, community and neighbor countries, things like that. Uh, and then another thing, the modern world, especially you see, in, the, in, the, I said, in the economy field, economy, uh, actually, you see, the and the beyond national boundary. So in the economy field, national boundary, political boundary is nothing. Uh, and also the, uh, what's the, even you see, not only nation to nation, but continent to continent is heavily interdependent. So under that circumstances, concept of war uh, is now no longer there. Concept and because the war based on the concept of we and they. And their interest and our interest is separate. So under that circumstances, destruction or destroy of your enemy, uh, destruct, uh, sorry, the destroy of your enemy's interest is the victory of one, one small. But in reality, now in the modern time, not that case. As I mentioned before, briefly, destruction of your neighbor is destruction of yourself. So thinking these lines, look from wider perspective and analyze closely about mental function, then I think uh, human beings, I think mental attitude can change. And not through prayer, but through analyze, analytical meditation. That's, I feel, the, uh, the best way of the, uh, so the preparation of the next millennium. Uh, then another, I think, uh, uh, the, I think the reason of hope is, I feel, 
and also some of my friends also have the see, have the see, the same share, share view. with this uh, view. The, during this century, during this century, we humanity learned many experiences. So today, uh, uh, humanity, generally speaking, becoming more mature. So in spite of some, you see, the violence or bloodshed, uh, some, you see, uh, unfortunate things here and there, but if we judge overall situation, I think there are some signs of uh, optimism, uh, op sort of change of good, signs of you see, changing positive. Uh, I think one, a few examples. Even the uh, mid part of this century, many people, ultimately, the uh, war uh, must uh, take place. Many people thought. Uh, un 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 um, many people thought that uh, war was inevitable. Uh, and perhaps including nuclear war. I think that uh, now, uh, instead of that, I think replace, re replace the spirit of co coexistence. And, and on that basis, I think on, because of that, now eventually, you see Berlin Wall also disappear. Uh, and then another thing, the, in the early part of this century, uh, there are some intellectual or some people have sort of believe human transformation can take place under totalitarian sort of system. That totally failed. Now it has become very clear, human individual uh, initiative, initiative uh, on the basis of human creative nature. This is very essential. Without that, transformation of the humanity is impossible. So individual freedom become very essential. So that also, I think, we learned, we witnessed big change. Then ecology. I think in, in the past, uh, people simply, oh, they have the attitude just to consume as much as possible. The nature resources remain sort of, I mean, no, no concern about the nature resources. Now today, people getting more awareness and also, they is now see how's today uh, have the uh, what's the concept? You see, caring nature, caring ecology. I think that's a big change. Uh, then another thing, the uh, science and spirituality. I think previous century and also uh, early part of this century, you see people just to say, I mean, consider science and kasa. Uh, spirituality, spirituality is just you see, two different uh, road or what say different thing, no connection. But now today, uh, the scientific sort of uh, uh, finding they reach very deep, very deep. Then, such as the quantum theory, when you see this, uh, uh, what's the day? So. So the some, I said, the observer's sort of influence, or importance of mind, or importance of concept, uh, also now become clear. So some kind of a closer relation, the sum of ancient thought and modern scientist, uh, modern science, now come closer. So these are the. And then, of course, obviously, the, uh, about the, uh, uh, the concern of human right, concern of right of self-determination, concern of, you see, the, each uh, community have the right to preserve their own culture and these things. Now, these things, uh, I think, is a very positive change. So, therefore, I think there is real, I think, uh, good basis for better future, better century, a century with more sort of peaceful, or pe and peaceful century, friendly, harmonious uh, century. I think there is real hope. 
Uh, then another thing, I think, uh, important. As I mentioned before, while humanity remains there, because of human intelligence, you always find disagreement or different views and contradictory views always uh, happen. Uh, uh, that contradictory itself, nothing wrong. Without a contradiction, no further progress. So two different opposite sort of views, views. or ideas. Then through that way, we can get some you see, new ideas, you see, new views, and new visions. Itself, nothing wrong. But the contradiction, you see, they not properly handled. Then it leads to violence. So here, uh, we need some kind of uh, method, you see, to solve the problem, to solve the contradiction. That is the dialogue. So often I express the 20th century, whether we like it or not, this century remain like, in history book, remain like a century of bloodshed, a century of violence. Now uh, we have to look forward, new century, that century, 21st century should be a century of dialogue. This problem will remain, problem will happen. But then the method or the way to look the problem and the, uh, the, so the, Solve the, uh, the resolution uh, through dialogue. Keeping others' interest. You cannot impose one's own interest to, uh, on other. Impossible. So we have to share the other sort of view, or others is right. So, uh, like the interest of one side and the other side, 50-50. I think that's the, uh, uh, the dialogue. In some cases, compromise. You can't sort of expect one's own interest, expenses of others' interest. It is impossible, unrealistic. So, spirit of reconciliation, or spirit of dialogue, that I think we must also promote on family level and community level, or national or international level. I think that's important. So I wish, you see, in, uh, in school, right from the beginning, I think in curriculum, there should be one lesson, or uh, lesson, or study about the value of Dialogue. Uh, dialogue. So that as children, uh, they, this, uh, so the concept of dialogue very, uh, I mean, become part of the student's mind and very familiar. Therefore, when children return home, if you see two parents a little quarreling, then children or student immediately you see, say, oh, this is wrong, compromise, compromise. I think we sh we sh this is possible. You see, they, through education, through familiarize, then you see these concepts become part of their you see, mind. So as soon as some conflict is see, see, um, uh, see, no, some conflict is sort of, I mean, face, the immediate reaction, oh, how to solve through dialogue. I think that should be. Usually, when we saw you see, some you see, conflict, then immediate, oh, how to solve. <laughs> Now, that's our reaction because of many sort of, sort of what's the day? The fighting. Uh, that is something much familiar to us through television or through many, through many I think, the sort of way. Means. So I think we should replace that. As soon as, you see, the, I think the uh, spirit of dialogue is, should be, sort of, uh, should make clear and should make close in our mind. And that we can, we can do, isn't it? So the family and also the various sort of concerned people, I mean, concerned people of various sort of education institution and also media, I think everyone has the see, responsibility and everyone has the potential to make contribution for that direction. So that's about see, my talk about Kazakh. Uh, Nonviolence in, in the new millennium. The new millennium. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now some questions.
short speech? Nothing? You need to ask. Okay. Questions? Some questions, yes. 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 Questions. Some questions. בבקשה, יהיה זמן לכמה שאלות. או, פליז. זמן לכמה שאלות, בבקשה. רק לאנה דברו, בבקשה, רק בקול רם. אני אחזור על השאלות. The question is how to transform, what is the technique of transforming hate into compassion, right? A mental level or technology, what, what do you... Technique, technique. What is the technique of transforming oh, technique, hatred? Oh, technique, I see. Uh, I usually used to say the analytical meditation. That is, you see, judge. Uh, what is benefit violence? What benefit nonviolence? What benefit uh, uh, compassion? And what benefit hatred to oneself, to society, to family? So that's the way. Just to see, analyze. Examine. Uh, examine. That uh, kind of Weigh the pros and cons. That's my main method. And also, see, look or judge in the past history and also the present. Look, uh, these violence, bloodshed, ultimately, you see, because of hatred, because of strong, what say, I think, the uh, strong sort of division, we and they. And the result, all concerned people suffer, especially those, you see, innocent people suffer. That's, I think, very unfortunate. So the things like, I mean, seeing these uh, and analyze, that's, then you see our view, our conviction will change. Our, 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 our view. Our view change and bring more conviction about nonviolence, about compassion. That's the way to transformation. Some, some answer? Okay, <laughs> not very clear. <laughs> then <laughs> the next. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Uh, I don't think this is wishful thinking. <laughs> uh. I think I, I will add so one thing. Uh, look, my own experience, and also you see. Uh, Quite a number of Tibetan and, and, and others also, you see, there. Yeah. Now, one, one, one example. One, one monk, uh, one, one Tibetan monk, who spent uh, almost, I think, 18 years in Chinese gulag. Uh, in early 80, uh, he eventually got the permission to uh, come join with me in India. So since we know each other uh, before 1959, one very good monk. So then I casually used to talk, casually, just right. a casual talk. Uh, uh, what to say, what kind of experience during those difficult years, things like that. Uh, then he mentioned during those uh, 18 years, a few occasions he really faced some danger. Then I asked him, what danger? I thought danger on his life. He mentioned losing compassion towards Chinese. <laughs> so these are, I mean, uh, real, real cases. And my own practice also, the, uh, I ne almost as in never felt ill feeling or hatred towards some of these, you see. Uh, uh, I said, uh, quite a strange, uh, what say, uh, human brother sisters. <laughs> uh, almost none. But of course, you see, anger sometimes comes. <coughs> but this, again, you see, they not happen just overnight. 
uh, this kind uh, of approach. This kind of say, transformation, this kind of changing attitude, not develop uh, overnight. Or just to see here, uh, some is nice, as you mentioned, is a nice word. Uh, that alone will not transform, will not sort of develop conviction. But uh, familiarize and think daily basis. And then weeks, months, years, uh, our mind gradually transform. So that is the way, but at the same time, not easy. <laughs> yes, next question. Next question. You talked about spirituality, religious spirituality and the secular spirituality. Yes. Do you think it's possible for one side to exist without the other, ultimately? The question is, is it possible to have secular spirituality without religious spirituality? Can they exist separately? Oh, uh, that's a new question. Uh, I never thought about it. Mm. Uh, uh, usually, uh, I believe, you see, the religious spirituality uh, certainly have the sort of potential uh, or important role to promote secular ethics. But without sort of convert or without sort of propagate one's own faith or religious faith, yes, say, oh, no problem, remain as it is. Uh, no faith, okay, no problem but should be uh, as a compassionate person because that bring you more inner happiness and happy family and happy human community. So that's my... So, so therefore, it's the religious sort of, uh, I mean, uh, religious uh, spirituality certainly uh, have the as important role. But then your question, uh, On the whole world, and on, on, the, on, the, on the global level, I don't know. But the individual case, without religious faith, you see, can, we can find a person really compassionate and totally de dedicate one's own life for benefit of others. Now, for example, one, one example. Uh, I found in early period in the, in the, in the Chinese communist uh, of the party. You can find the without religion. Uh, I found this is some uh, the communist Chinese also, uh, and also uh, uh, I had many uh, many examples. No religious faith, but totally delegate one's dedicated. own uh, dedicated, dedicated yes dedicated one's own sort of sort of privilege or one's own life for the benefit of other. We can see. So there is a possibility without any religious faith, but can be very warm-hearted, sensible person. That's possible. But on a global level, without a religion, whether they, uh, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Because, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, one, uh, one example, I feel, the sense of caring one another is actually part of human nature. We are social animal. So look, these small, what say, uh, uh, ants or bees. Mm. I have great respect for bees because I love honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so sometimes I jokingly say, telling my you see, friend, or oh, my next reincarnation could be a bee. <laughs> because I consume a lot of honey. <laughs> so, so in any way, so in any way, uh, see, look, those social animals, uh, as in their nature, they, they survive uh, through cooperation uh, as, as a group. So the basis of the survival of the group is the sort of sense of cooperation, sense of sharing one another sense of caring one another. So now look here, 
They have no religious faith, no constitution, <laughs> no education system. But because of their nature, you see, they spontaneously, you see, sense of sort of responsibility, you see, sense of cooperation, sharing. sense of sharing one another. So we human beings, I think at the beginning, you see, that sense, I think, remained there very strongly. But then our intelligence, you see, sometimes, you see, uh, I think, some kind of, I think, develop overconfidence, right? Over self confidence. Uh, then we, the basic human sort of good quality, eventually not further developed, remain there. There's some artificial sort of feeling overwhelmed. So this is my, uh, so, so therefore, I think should be possible. <laughs> Last question, last question. One last question. Hmm? Do you think the uh, uh, treatment of humans to non-humans, uh, do you see any optimism in this field? As you said, there is optimism uh, in the treatment of humans to other humans, because today it's quite outrageous, mm. I'm afraid. I think, uh, firstly, the vegetarianism. <coughs> vegetarianism increasing. Uh, then uh, uh, we found, we, are, we find, you see, in America, America and especially I think in Europe, in, and particularly in England, they, uh, I say they, I say they, I say, they uh, concern about animal right. I think these are, uh, I think, very positive uh, development. Uh, so, uh, one is the one Asian is the ancient thought, the uh, Jains and the Buddhist, the not only human being but all you see the sentient being who have same experience of pains and pleasure, you see, uh, treated as equal. Uh, this is your your question, isn't it? Oh, your question. Uh, Now the problem here is another problem. I think another sticky problem is the human population. <laughs> now already, you see this huge gap, northern and southern. So under present population, the southerners, uh, say, economic progress, uh, 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 living standard, uh, living standard. You see, reach up to a living standard which northern enjoy. Uh, then the nature resources, whether sufficient or not, is questionable. Uh, so this is the uh, long run, you see, one very crucial uh, problem. A crucial problem. Like I think here, Israel, and also like Tibet, you see, they, uh, uh, judging the local situation, they, uh, we need more population. But then overall world, Yes, now too many population. Uh, I think too, too much, too much. So, um, so that's I think very very hectic sort of uh, sort of uh, problem. Uh, because of that, uh, like India, the after fifty uh, after fifty years, right, after after independence, now fifty years, last fifty years, a lot of progress, a lot of development you should take place actually. But the each year, new mouth. Uh, so they, all these, you see, the result of this uh, pro progress, progress. Uh, progress, usually, you see, they go uh, uh, feeding, the new uh, feeding the new mouth. So then, <laughs> when we see, see they, uh, um, uh, I, I usually see, notice uh, in, in India, when I pass through, see, uh, sorry, a car. Mm. Uh, they cultivate land used for construction. Then uh, month by month, the size of the farms, these uh, smaller and smaller. Uh, more bricks, more cement, cement and irons now coming more and more. So sometimes I wonder, oh, if this you see, development further goes, then how to survive? Uh, so this is, I think, a real, real, real problem.
So this is just, just, <laughs> just I, I mentioned. Then I think uh, there, there, there are one, one, one lady there, one lady there, yes. This is now, now real last, now real last, yes. Real last question. Oh. Oh, louder. leaders uh, are becoming arrogant and they hold on to their religion. With that in view, <clears throat> what do you think is the way to forward the dialogue between religions when certain religious leaders are holding to their own and do not want to begin a dialogue? Uh, in the past, uh, some occasion, I, you see, uh, I see, I see, share, uh, and also see some sort of same view, same agreement, same agreement. That is, the, uh, and some issues, the leaders of different religious tradition, uh, you see, uh, rather, you see, uh, I see, difficult to speak out, I saw that. Um, uh, on issues, uh, I mean, on truth, certain uh, issues. I mean, the uh, they do not speak out uh, frankly. Uh, you see, because of, uh, understandably, you see, their position, sometimes it's difficult. So, in order to make it easier for the leader, I think on grassroots, right? Grass, grassroots. Grassroots. I think more, I said, uh, interaction. The interaction and more open discussion, some of these issues, issues such as the environment, also the population, there's problems, a family plan, these things. Uh, and then also, I think the pluralism about this religion, you know, religions, pluralism, uh, I think. The, uh, concept of pluralism. Co concept pluralism. of the pluralism. You see, these, I think in the grassroots, you see, the, we have to make more effort. Then gradually, the leaders then will find easier, you see, to tackle or to talk in these sort of uh, complicated issues. Now here, I think one one you see the uh, again the writer is complicated, but. Uh, was my sort of firm, what's it? Believe. A belief is that one uh, one problem. I mean, some problems which uh, comes from the concept of one truth, one religion. So one's own religion is the ultimate sort of true religion, one true, one truth. So the other religion, hmm, something, <laughs> something else. <laughs> uh, that's, you see, uh, I think causing a lot of problems in the past. Uh, no, now today, reality is, I mean, last several centuries, when Buddha, you see, taught Buddhism in India, uh, still, uh, the, uh, in India, the same, same country, the many different non-Buddhist tradition there. Buddha, you see, I think, uh, did not attempt to convert all Indian into Buddhism. He just didn't leave it. He taught his own sort of philosophy, uh, philosophy or teaching, uh, make available uh, among the Indian. So those Indian who find Buddha's you see, new teaching is more suitable, then they follow. Then those people who uh, not find sort of suitable, then remain differently. So this is reality. Now today, 
a different major world institution is there. Uh, whether we like it or not, you see, difference, different tradition there. And help, helpful to humanity. So, so the uh, concept of one truth, one religion, a uh, concept of several truth, several religion, these two must be uh, together. Now, how? On individual cases, in the terms of individual, yes, concept of one truth, one religion is very important. In the terms of several people or community level, yes, concept of several truth, several religion is relevant. So we can overcome this contradiction on the basis of one individual case and several individuals. So I think you see now there, here also I think there's some positive reactions, uh, positive sort of indications now coming. More sort of uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, more meetings, different religious traditions now happening, like ASSISI meeting, uh, and also the last just a few days here also. You see, they, now I think they more interact. Interaction. Now, uh, interaction is now coming. Happening. Happening. Okay. Thank you.